are going to be doing another snack review video. We will be reviewing Japanese snacks. Uh, we got these snacks on our trip to Japan not long ago. So uh, we picked up some things that were kind of interesting and a little unusual and we thought we'd try them on camera for the first time with you guys. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is this. Now it may look just like regular water, however it is actually tea, believe it or not, premium morning tea. This one is milk tea and the one I've got here is lemon tea I believe, iced lemon tea. It looks just like regular water so I'm really intrigued as to how this is going to taste. I'm going to open that see how it smells, it smells like tea. That smells just like iced lemon tea. Seriously, like that is so weird because it looks nothing like tea. You can see that is literally clear, guys. So I'll, I'll take a sip of this one. <laughs> that is lemon tea. Literally, it's not water at all. That is lemon tea. Guys, that is literally clear lemon tea. I don't know how they did that or why, but that is amazing. Try it. That's lemon tea. Not even lemon water, not lemonade. That is literally lemon tea. Can you believe that? It is true. Why how? The packaging says premium morning tea. It's tea. But it just it's by Suntory. Suntory. Premium morning tea. And guys, you've got to try this if you see it. It's crazy. Like, you'd think you're drinking water or flavoured water, but that is literally tea. Good. It tastes really nice. Okay, the second one is that premium morning tea. As well, milk tea, isn't milk it? Milk tea. It's by, it's again, by Centauri. Oh my. <laughs> really? Seriously, like milk tea? It, it smells like milk tea a bit, yeah. It smells like Hong Kong's milk tea. Kong's the really tea. strong one, don't you think? Yeah. That is milk tea. Literally, seriously. It reminds me of brand called Go, um, Gogo no Gocha, milk tea, Japanese brand, Korean. It tastes exactly the same with that. How is that so? It's milky. It tastes like literally so milky and. <laughs> guys, that's really weird. Like, my mind's blown right now. This is really good, guys. If you get a chance, you should definitely try this. Next snack is going to be Kit Kat. But not just any Kit Kat guys, we brought back the banana flavoured Kit Kat. And for those of you who don't know, Japan actually has, I think, 100 different flavours of Kit Kat. Right? Am I right? 100 different flavours. I think more than 100. And we saw so many different flavours guys, but of course, we couldn't bring back 100 flavours of Kit Kat because that's absurd. So one of the ones we opted for was banana Kit Kat, which is this one. So. Basically, the packaging comes like this. Uh, you can give them away as gifts. There's a part where you can like, you could write someone's name on there, like to them, and you can give them as presents. It's really nice the packaging is. You can see, this is like a mini one. Uh, usually, if you get the small boxes, you'll get three of them, these in there. But this is just a big box of these. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try this one now. So let's see. What's it gonna be? Do you reckon it's gonna be yellow? Hopefully, yeah. Because banana flavor supposed to be yellow. Let's see, banana kick Oh, it just looks like regular chocolate. Uh, okay. Smells very banana y. Oh, there's a little banana on there. Let me just show you that. There's a little banana on there. Can you see that? Yeah. And I've got mine now, so yeah, let's, let's try. Mmm. It's very banana y. Mm -hmm. Interesting, it's like you mix chocolate with banana flavour together. Mm. I feel like the banana flavour is overpowering. Yeah, but, yeah, it is, you know what it tastes like? Um, have you ever had that those sweets, the banana foam ones? It's like, it kind of looks like a banana, like a... It's a sweet, I don't know how to explain. But it tastes exactly like that. Mm. That's really nice, that is. Mm. 
<clears throat> okay, another Kit Kat that we're going to be trying that we brought back from Japan is the strawberry. And the packaging is really, really cute. So yeah, it comes in a little box like this and it's only 63 calories it says as well, which is awesome, it's low calorie. In Japan you can get loads of great low calorie snacks. They've got the thing you can write to and from, like give it away as a gift. And then it comes with three of them inside. Three of them. Real, really sophisticated package. Yeah, packaging is really with, cute uh, guys. Strawberry logo and some Japanese writing there. Oh, it's, oh it's bright pink, lovely, pink. really nice, that's pink chocolate. Oh, be careful, thank you. So we've got lovely light pink chocolate here. I'm going to go try that now. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, that tastes like cowpaw. Um, Cowpool, if any of you don't know, is a cough medicine, but it's really delicious. It reminds me of cowpool. It reminds me of the strawberry milk. Mmm, strawberry milk too, but cowpool. Okay, I know we're getting boring now with Kit Kats, but this was another one we had to try because it was spring, so sakura season. So this one is sakura matcha. Sakura matcha Kit Kat. And as you can see, there's green tea on the cover. With a sakura petal in it, and the packaging is pretty and pink. It's really, really Japanese fine. Yeah, really, really pretty and really pink. Really cute also. It says sakura matcha on the front, and yeah, again, it's come in the little box, the same as the strawberry one. And Sans will just open that up. Come with three packs inside as well. Mm -hmm. And this one's pink and green, so. Let's see. Okay, it's very, very, very green, guys. <laughs> like, really, really green chocolate. It looks like it should be lime flavored, but, like, yeah. Ooh, you got that one perfectly. Okay, so this one just says Kit Kat on the front, and it's green, so. Hmm. Oh! It tastes like matcha flavor kind of product. Yeah, basically it's like matcha on the inside and it's like a hint of the sakura flavor. Like it's a bit pink, the wafer inside is. But I think it's mostly matcha flavored, right? Just like a hint of cherry blossom. It's already going to taste any cherry blossom flavor in there. Just green tea. So, so far we have already tried three, no, two Kit Kat flavor. No, three Kit Kat flavors just now. Which one was your favorite? Banana. You like the banana one? Wow, I think um, the strawberry one definitely stood out for me. The matcha one is nice if you like matcha products. The next thing we wanted to show you was, see these are pretz. They're like breadsticks and it's a really famous snack in Japan and basically we got a selection of loads of different flavors but we're not going to open all of those flavors on camera guys, that's too much. Uh, so we're going to just pick the most interesting one. Sans, which one do you think? Um, let's try takoyaki. Takoyaki, yes. Takoyaki is basically an octopus ball. It's like, it's a snack, a traditional snack, snack that comes from Osaka, right? Originated in Osaka. And it contains octopus. And um, yeah, for those of you who know anything about Osaka, you might have seen the famous picture of this, the Glico Man. Fantastic. Yeah, the Glico Man in uh, Dotonburi. So basically this brand is really popular and I've never seen this flavour before so I'm interested to try what that's going to be like. Yeah, it's, it's I love takoyaki. Yeah, this one's called what? Chilis? Glico. Glico. So that's the Glico man. Oh, so it comes in like a foil packaging mm -hmm. to keep it fresh on the inside. So let's try some. Oh, literally smells like takoyaki. <laughs> Really? I miss Japan so much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So as you can see, it's just like a breadstick, like this, and it will have a flavor on it. So let's see. Oh my god. 
Takoyaki. Exactly like it. Wow. It really is. I'm, I'm eating takoyaki. It is literally, except it's crunchy when it should be soft. It's really weird. Mm. Guys, if you like takoyaki, or if you're too afraid to try it, you want to think, one, you're wondering what the flavor is like. Go for this flavor. It's really, really good. Now our next snack wasn't from Japan. Actually, we found it here in Shenzhen, China. And basically, the reason we're including it in this video is due to the flavors being Japanese inspired. So they are these Lay's crisps. Lay's. Uh, in England, we have Walkers. So I guess everywhere else has Lay's. So these are the flavors. We have cherry blossom flavored Lay's and matcha flavored Lay's. So cherry blossoms are obviously, you know, sakura. It's a Japanese thing. These two flavors are exclusive for spring only, limited edition ones. And then we've got matcha here. So guys, I'm really intrigued because, again, this is a savory product. It's crisps, right? Chips. Yeah. Americans call them chips, right? Chips. So you think of it as being a savory thing. So for me, this is really weird because how can something taste like tea and cherry Just imagine. Blossom? potato chips that taste like green tea. So which one should we eat first? Uh, I think this one's weirder so we save this till last. Green tea. Watch. Yeah, show them the packaging first. Um, as you can see there's some green tea leaves on there as well. And the powder, so yeah, open that up. Big bag. What does it smell like? Strong. Okay guys, whenever you buy these bags, literally that is mostly air. That's how many chips are inside, see? Like, this much. See? What? It really does smell like green tea a lot. Like, really strong green tea smell. Um, you first. It's like, it's like you hold in. It's like chips you dip inside of like matcha latte. It's weird because it just tastes like normal crisps, like until right at the end you get a green tea taste. Try another one, see. They're not bad, edible. It's kind of weird though. Me, the green tea, il matcha latte. It tastes like that, matcha latte. First, it first it, it just kicked in and then it fades slowly and then it just tastes like normal crisps. That's it. You're not bad, right? Mm. Not bad. Kind of weird. weird. Final one. <sighs> Cherry blossom flavor. Okay, so. Please. <laughs> it's really popped out, right? Wow. Wow? Good wow or bad wow? I don't know. That don't literally know. smells like flowers. Flower tea for me. It's really flowery. It's kind of weird. It's just flower tea. Okay, would you have a piece first? Okay, I like sakura snacks when it comes to dessert, so I'm kind of... That li look, smell that, it's like flour. Let's try it. Mm. It's very weird. It actually tastes like flour. Like, I don't go around eating flowers, guys, but it tastes like a flower, if that makes sense. But, Do you know what I mean? You know, when you chew on No, no, you know what it tastes like? Um, Have you ever had that cake? The one with the flower petals inside? It's a Chinese dessert. The flower cake. You know what I'm oh, talking about, right? right? Yeah, it works. tastes like that. It's like 
just like chewing on a, a flower petal. Yeah, petals. You like chewing on petals. It tastes like that. <laughs> just one more. It's kind of weird, Six guys. Because it, it's a seasonal thing. Yeah. We'll try some more. But I, I personally think it's kind of weird. The green tea one was bearable. This is really weird. Good package, though. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Wow, yeah. The concept's nice. It's just very weird. Guys, that concludes our Japanese snack tasting video. Which one of these snacks would you try? I mean, did any of them stand out to you? Or have you tried any of these snacks before? Uh, Zans, which is your favourite out of everything <coughs> you tried? Um, it's really hard to choose, but for me... It would, still would be the banana Kit Kat. Really? You like it that yeah. much, huh? It's good. The banana Kit Kat. Uh, for me, the best thing I tried was probably the strawberry Kit Kat. The strawberry Kit No, no, no. Strawberry Kit Kat was nice, but I like the, the pretz, the takoyaki flavored thing. Because I really like takoyaki. I think this is amazing. Like, I could literally probably eat that whole box just sitting here talking to you guys. So, yeah, this is my favorite thing. Um, if you have a chance to try this, I definitely recommend this. And also the water, like I think this is really weird. Like, I, I keep calling it water, it's tea, it's clear tea guys. Like it, it's really confusing and amazing. So I really recommend you try the tea and this out of the lot. They're all good, they're all good. If you can try them, try them. But this is my favorite thing guys. Um, guys, are there any other things you'd like us to try? Or any other snacks, uh, Japanese snacks that you'd like to recommend? Or not even Japanese, you can re recommend us something from your own country, your own culture, something we should try. And yeah, we'll try and make a video based on that. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification button. We'd really, really, really appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!